Hi, I'm Marissa. I'm the marketing director at Milk and Honey and welcome to my bathroom. Today, I'm going to be showing you my art of the shower routine because I'm actually not much of a bath person. So I'm going to take you on a different journey. Yeah, let's do it. So normally I take really quick showers, especially with having a two year old daughter, things have to be really expedited. But when I'm going for that long luxurious shower, I really try to add some special extra steps. And my favorite one to do is my exfoliation step. And for that, I love to use Milk and Honey's body polish, which is right here. And I use the number five lemon vanilla scent, which is gorgeous. And I'm just gonna let you smell it now. Um, it's gentle, it's not abrasive, it really does a great job of getting off dry skin without leaving you feeling raw and kind of red. Um, and it helps you prep for those next steps after you get out of the shower, like putting on your oils or body cream. Um, and I just feel like it just smells so good, it feels like a real treat. When I'm in the shower, I really like to create a silent meditative space for myself because so often I'm actually showering with my two-year-old daughter who obviously is amazing but incredibly loud and fun and so I don't really get those relaxing shower moments. Um, so silence for me is really important. I don't like to really listen to music or podcasts. Occasionally when I'm feeling like a little more rested going into my long luxurious shower routine then I will turn on my favorite podcast which is Ear Hustle. Because I'm in the shower, the thing that I feel most comfortable bringing in is a mug of hot coffee or tea. It just really adds to the experience of being in there and really being able to enjoy myself. But in a dream scenario, I really wish that I would just be magically handed an everything bagel to, to nosh on. Thank you. Wishes do come true. Before I get into the shower, I always like to light a candle. Um, my favorite right now is the Diptyque candle in the scent bays. I hope I'm saying that correctly. And I just love that when I get out and I open the shower door, it's usually really steamy in here and it smells like roses and black currant, which for me, it's not super sweet. It's really fresh smelling and it's just the nicest aroma to be greeted with when you get out of a nice long shower. If I'm really going for it and I have the extra time, when I get out of the shower, I really like to just keep my towel on and slink back into bed. And my favorite thing to do once I'm there is to just curl up with a good book. Um, right now I'm reading Brain on Fire, but as you can see behind me, I'm, an, I'm a voracious reader and I'm not too picky. I just really want to like disappear into the world of words and uh, and just enjoy myself and take that extra time to, to read and do one of my favorite things. A bonus would be that if I'm reading that my dog, Louis, comes and cuddles with me because that's just the most relaxing thing. So yeah, that's a treat too. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my art of the shower routine and I hope that there's a long shower or bath in your near future.